What's up, Instagram? I wanted to do this quick live. Um, so a lot of people have been reaching out with me, especially over the last two weeks, I think, because they are starting to realize um, it's taken a lot of years for people to realize um, that there is something to what I am saying about the fact that the media is trying to get black America to celebrate degeneracy. And they are trying to do this by using various athletes and artists and glorifying them um, and getting them to say statements um, that direct black people into a nefarious direction. So <laughs> I want to comment right now on the situation going on with Micaiah Bryant, because if you at any moment have doubted what I have been telling you, what I have been telling black Americans in terms of what the goal is then this situation should add clarity for you. I don't know what Black Lives Matter was ever supposed to be about, okay? I really don't. I've always thought it was a fraudulent organization and I saw it coming from a mile away and you know, congratulations to Breonna Taylor's mom for calling them frauds um, after her daughter's face was used to collect money. If this situation today with Micaiah Bryant, if that's how you say her name, Micaiah Bryant, the 16 year old, who was in the process of trying to stab another black woman to death and got shot and killed by police officers who saved the life of the black girl who she was trying to kill, okay? She was trying to kill her. That is what you do. That is what you are trying to accomplish when you take a knife and you try to stab someone repeatedly. You are trying to commit murder, okay? This woman, young lady, if you'd like to call her, got stopped in the middle of a crime, of in the middle of a, an attempt at murdering someone by a heroic police officer who shot and killed her before she could finish the act. In a sane society, every single person in the world would say, thank God that officer was there to stop the crime from happening. But we don't live in a sane society because now the goal in this insane society is to make black people believe that we have to fight to protect our criminals, that we have to fight to allow our criminals to live through every situation, no matter what they are doing, even if they are trying to kill someone, okay? So Jacob Blake, who admitted that he had a knife, admitted that he had a knife, is now a hero and has his name put on the back of the helmets of the New Orleans Saints because he was shot and paralyzed by police officers, despite the fact that a black woman was victimized by him. Despite the, flat, the, the, the fact that a black woman had called the police on him because he was visiting her and he wasn't supposed to. Despite the fact that a black woman had alleged that he had digitally raped her, okay? He was put on the back of an NFL helmet. Now you have Micaiah Bryant. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. I really don't care how I'm saying her name. I'm going to be honest with you. Now you have Micaiah Bryant, a 16-year-old who almost kills someone, and LeBron James decides to post a picture of the heroic police officer and say, you're next on his Twitter. I took a second. I thought to myself, okay, you know, before I react to this, maybe he's making a mistake because he doesn't know all the details. Because as we know, the media lies and pretends the person is a good human being. Micaiah Bryant's mother came out, even though Micaiah was a foster child. And she said, oh, she was, you know, she was about peace, something along those lines, that, that, that her daughter was really a peacemaker at the end of the day. I have never seen a peacemaker try to stab someone to death with a knife. But okay, Micaiah Bryant's mom, we'll believe you on this one. But maybe LeBron James got deluded by that quote and thought it was real and he reacted because he deleted the tweet. So I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but no, he has now followed up on the tweet and essentially said he only deleted it because he didn't want it to be taken out of context. And really he's hopeful that Micaiah Bryant gets justice, that her family gets justice because he is tired of seeing black Americans killed by police officers. <laughs> let's just, let's just reset that. He's okay with seeing black Americans get killed by other black Americans, because that is exactly what would have happened if a police officer didn't show up. He's just upset when a black criminal gets taken out by a police officer. What the hell are we even talking about right now in society? How do you not see how degenerate that is? How do you not understand how poisonous that is, that a man with his following is out here saying that Micaiah Bryant deserves justice for what? She got justice when she tried to kill someone and somebody intervened. That is literally the function of the police. If your husband, your loved ones, or a friend, a friend of yours, and you got into a dispute and someone charged at you with a knife, 
Would you be hoping that that police officer didn't intervene on the basis that that person was maybe black? Oh, don't intervene, please, please. Allow me to die. Allow me to be stabbed to death because I just couldn't bear, I couldn't bear the idea of you shooting this person that's trying to kill me. We are losing all morality in this society. These people, these people like LeBron James, he's a coward. He's disgusting. I honestly, I am now physically disgusted by LeBron James. I think he is dis- I think he is despicable. I think LeBron James should have all of his sponsorships taken from him from putting the face of a heroic police officer and saying you're next to him and then doubling down, doubling down, okay? And turning around and saying that this girl deserves justice. I think he's despicable. If that if if, if the situation was reversed, if a black officer had shot a white person, okay? Who was charging another white person and saved the life of that other white person that was being charged and a and somebody else had stood up and said a black police officer put a picture of him up and said this guy he's next basically trying to signal to the world that this person is is somehow in the wrong they would have had all of their sponsorships removed. They would have had to step down from the NBA. No questions asked. No questions asked. But LeBron James, I guess, gets to be celebrated because he's black. So he gets to experience black privilege, right? He can just say whatever the hell he wants, like he did a while ago when he said, we literally can't go outside. We're being hunted down. All of these things. He gets to add to this rhetoric. He gets to add to this, this divisiveness. And he gets to encourage black people to, again, believe that as criminals, as criminals, you still, you can kill someone and you still have the right to life. Nobody should intervene when you are trying to kill someone. That is what Micaiah Bryant was doing. She was trying to kill someone. If you are still asleep and you do not understand what is happening right now, let me tell you what's going to happen next. Police officers are going to start resigning in mass resignations. People are not going to be signing up for the police academy. Do you want to know whose neighborhoods are going to be the first that are affected by that? Do you think it's LeBron James's neighborhood? LeBron James lives in $100 million house in Bel Air, from what I've heard, in Bel Air. It's $100 million. Do you think LeBron James, when these police officers resign and they say, what is the goddamn point of me trying to protect this neighborhood, of me risking my life, of me running towards a, a scenario in which a woman is trying to violently stab someone to death, if I'm only going to be treated like I'm an animal, by people like LeBron James who don't even touch their own door handles? You think he's ever done a ride along to see what police officers have to do on a day-to-day basis? Is that what you want? If that's what you want, if you would like for police officers to simply stop policing, raise your hand. And let me tell you something. That's what you're going to get. And let me tell you something else. That wish is a racist one because we all know which are the neighborhoods that need the most policing. We all know that there are minority neighborhoods where the police are called, called the most to deal with violent crimes. We all know that this scenario is going to lead to more black death. So if you're a person who goes, well, we just got new police officers, you know exactly what you are doing. I don't blame police officers right now if they want to step down. I don't blame them. I, I, personally, I would almost respect if police officers went on strike. I would respect it. You know what? This Let, let the neighborhoods turn into Gotham City. Let, let the neighborhoods, let them riot, let them loot, let them burn. If they want to murder one another, and what, what would be the purpose of a police officer wanting to hold that badge, have that badge anymore, when this is how we treat them? LeBron James is a despicable human being for this. Despicable. I have no respect for him. If you are a fan of LeBron James, if you are a person that likes basketball, you should never, you should never, ever, ever, ever go to a LeBron James game ever again. If you have the sense to understand what is wrong here, I don't care how talented he is. I don't care how many rings he has. What he is doing right now is celebrating perversity. What he is doing right now is celebrating criminality. What he is doing right now is trying to blur the lines, the very clear lines between right and wrong. What the police officer did in the Micaiah Bryant situation was right. What LeBron James tweeted about was wrong. If you cannot see that and you think that this video is an example of Candace Owens acting like an Uncle Tom, you're a lost soul and you're a degenerate. If you are watching this and you're thinking that Micaiah Bryant is a hero, that Micaiah Bryant deserves justice, then you are a degenerate. In my opinion, you are a degenerate. I don't care. I don't care if you're sitting here watching going, oh my God, but Candace, can't you see yourself? It's Micaiah Bryant's a butt. No, I can't see myself. I don't, I don't take a knife and try to kill somebody. But didn't you see yourself with George? No, 
I don't take fentanyl. I don't do op- opioids. I haven't been arrested in jail nine times. Stop telling me to see myself in someone because they have the same melanin as me. I have nothing to do with white criminals. I have nothing to do with Chinese criminals. I have nothing to do with black criminals. I am not a criminal. I am not a criminal. I do not see myself in any of these scenarios. I am an American. I'm an American that wants policing, that respects police officers and believes that criminals belong in prison. And when they are trying to kill someone, they need to be stopped by any means necessary. Thank you for paying attention to this rant. I'm so disgusted with the way that society is trending. And I am just sickened by the fact that the Democrats and the left and these Athletes, these despicable athletes are playing a part in what is really just the corrosion of ethics in this society. What's up, Instagram? I wanted to do this quick live. Um, so a lot of people have been reaching out with young man, black man, killed by the police in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. His funeral is today. All right, that was a quick look at our front page news. For more on what we're talking about, log on to the rickysmileymorningshow.com. Rock T, what's going on in sports? So I skipped all my COVID stuff because we had to talk about, I'm so over Micaiah Bryant's um, situation. I find no defense for that woman to have been, that girl to have been shot four times in the chest before the police even understood the situation. She didn't have a rifle, she didn't have a pistol, she had a knife, he had a gun. The fact that he shot her in her chest four times, I don't care, you don't even know the girl's situation outside of the fact that she was either 15 or 16, which has yet to be confirmed. She was a ward of the state, she was a foster care student and she, a foster care uh, child, and she was the person that called the police about being assaulted by two other women. Listen, listen, I'm not here for it. And I'm not here for the police telling me what they train to do. Y'all need new training. If y'all don't know how to go to the scene of a crime where you have already been told that there is an altercation that's physical and two people are charging one person, it doesn't matter. The girl that called the police could have been almost stabbed and the other girl still didn't deserve to die to shoot that girl four times. It's just crazy to me. But then y'all pull out a gun talking about y'all thought it was a taser. Let me go and wash this off. Give me a spiritual bath and get back into my chi and my happy. God is good and still on the throne. And these people are crazy. The devil is alive and real. Y'all.